Hey, welcome back to D-Lab, everybody. On the bench today, I've got something completely different to work on. It's a Milwaukee Model 4203 mag drill. A friend of mine owns a machine shop. He said they used the drill, they put it away, and when they went to use it again, it was dead. So let's see what killed the Milwaukee. All right, first off, let's verify the fault. I had the Milwaukee plugged in. Absolutely nothing happens when any of the switches are pushed. No signs of life. Let's go ahead and pop out this panel and see what's behind it. All right, she's loose and I do see a control board. The wires hold it up a little bit. You gotta be cautious getting her out. And I see something right off the bat. We got a fuse. And that fuse looks baked. So let's verify that and see if we can find a short on the board that may have popped it. So let's give the circuit board a little closer inspection and see if we can find what possibly blew that fuse. I see an area of concern. Let me get you in there closer. Now here's the area of the board that caught my attention. We know we have a blown fuse, but what caused that fuse to blow? Well this is the power supply area, okay? You look down between the filter cap and that diode, you'll see some contamination on the board with evidence of arcing. A lot of times, the adhesive that they use to glue these caps down corrode the circuit board, and I believe that's what happened here. So we more than likely have a shorted diode, and this cap will have to be pulled, verified, possibly replaced. So let's check the diodes. So let's check the diodes. These appear to be 1N5404 diodes. There's four of them. I have my meter set in the diode check position. So what you don't want to hear is that. That says you have a short. You should see 0.5 to 0.7 volts DC drop on this meter. So we'll start over here. That one's okay. That one is suspect. There's a shorted diode. And that one's okay. Alright, so the game plan is I'll clean and desolder the shorted diode first and see if this other one that is reading 0.09 comes back up to the normal 0.5 voltage drop. So I would say we have right now one shorted diode for sure and we got to clean this contamination off the board so that this problem doesn't reoccur. I've got the board in position here so I can get these components out. What I'd highly recommend, don't get in here and just heat the parts and try to yank them out like teeth. You want to take a little bit of a good quality solder wick and get that solder off the board. You want to take your time and be patient. And if you can't get the solder wick to pull immediately, put a little solder on there to aid it. You want to make sure that these leads have a little gap around them indicating that you pulled all the solder out of there. Okay, So we're going to do this diode and of course this filter cap and the traces on the filter cap down here are pretty fine. The solder wick will also protect the circuit board from lifting traces. So once I have all this solder out of here, I should be able to get these components off the board. The cap is already loose. That's a good sign. Or I want to show you this before I go any further. I've got the cap pulled. The adhesive is stuck to the capacitor but did not actually adhere to the board. It just caused a mess on the board. If you look at the bottom of this cap, it is wet. So I'm assuming this capacitor is bad. I'll go ahead and check it but we're probably going to replace it as well as that diode. Well, here is that shorted diode. And when I removed that diode, 
the one next to it that was measuring low is now measuring OK. I did verify the capacitor on my ESR meter and it is shot. So we're going to have to replace both and I need to clean this mess off the circuit board. Alright, I have the new components installed, the board's clean. I'm going to reassemble the unit and see if it powers up. Alright, here we go. Initial test after repair of that circus board. Worst possible thing, the fuse blows. I have to get a new control board. Hopefully that's not the case. So I have a power on lamp. And the magnet energized. Let's see if I can turn off the magnet. Yep. How about the motor? Success! Alright, well there you go. If you have one of these Milwaukee Model 4203 mag drills that's dead, now you have something that you can look at. In this case, it was three components. Obviously the fuse, a 1N5404 diode, and a 560 microfarad cap at 50 volts. And of course, a little bit of cleanup, but now the Milwaukee is good to go.